So in today's video, I'll be showing you waypoints, but this time I'm going to be showing you waypoints actually out on location. Now, if you watch my other video, which I'll just put it there, um, that was when we sat in the home in the nice comfort, nice easy chair, doing it online, um, and you can do so many things, but you can do most of it where out location. Guys, it's very similar to the DJI waypoints, but. This is what this video is all about, Mini 3 Pro, my RCN1, just checking that, because <laughs> it won't work, guys, if you've got the RCN2, it'll only work the RCN1, and make sure, I keep emphasising this, you've got to have the DroneLink DJI app from DroneLink, it's not a separate app, you have to be a member, you know, you have to be a subscriber to the DroneLink, and then drone download the app. To make this work. Anyway, should we get on with it? So you can see the top right hand corner, the drones, I've got 65%. So what we do, we go down to the lightning bolt, which is on the left bottom, press that. We scroll down to we see waypoints okay so the next thing you need to do guys is get the drone up in the air so we take off now I don't think you could do waypoints from the ground I think you actually very similar to the DJI um, I'm just gonna bring up a little bit more very similar to the DJI at waypoints okay so I'm gonna actually start from here where it says get started all right i'm going to start over again because i did do a quick test thing and i missed something important out <laughs> so anyway this is going to be my first waypoint and then we fly to the next waypoint and what i'm going to do i'm going to send the drone off in this direction so whatever you do with the sticks guys it's, it's recording it Okay, so I'm just going to turn that drone now. So we're facing back in. I think that's that's fine. And if you, as you notice at the top right, it's got, we're on number two now. We go on to the next one. I'm just going to come up a little bit there. I'm going to do mark there. So you see number three. I'm going to turn the drone around now. Um, and what we're going to do now, hopefully, if I drop that gimbal down, okay, we're going to fly that to me. Just want to keep it simple. Keeping an eye on the, obviously the battery as well. We mark that. Okay, that's me. I've got four waypoints. I'm happy with that. Video. What I've noticed with the screen, even though it's a bright day, it's very hard to see if I clicked on it, but I can see I've done the video, so that's good. We do next. So, customized VART settings. We'll do that. We'll have a quick look at that as well. Next. Okay, what we got here? What is the fastest speed you want to fly between the waypoints? Um, 10 miles per hour? Oh, I don't know about that. I think, I think personally, if I, um, if I knock that off a minute and six miles per hour. Okay, I've done that. Next. Uh, what type of flight, what type of path between waypoints? Curved. Yeah, we got that. Framing the waypoint, do you want to rotate the drone and the gimbal? No, I'm happy with that. Uh, forward, yeah, forward. Uh, name the mission, okay. We'll do my usual mine, mine. We'll do the mines, that's it, right, okay. Next. So that's it, you've got your input summary at the top there. Uh, you've got everything 
as far as you got uh, got video. Yes, we've done all that. So generating it all. Right, top left hand corner, at the top of where it says mines, you've got the the little blue circle or purple to some people. If I press that, three, two, one. Does it count down? Starting mission. Okay, running the mission. Just getting itself lined up. Okay, I've, I'm just checking the battery powers right now. It, you can see that the video started as well. Guys, it's all about experimenting. Don't worry too much about you got to have, you got to have it at a certain angle, at a certain speed. Guys, do what you want. This is what I love about waypoints. You can just spend a whole, as long as you've got all the battery power for the drone, to how you want, to, want it to be. But this is another method, especially if you go out and you thought, oh, I like to capture this area, but I'm doing something else at the moment, and you can just get on with this waypoints here. Now I set my, if you notice, I've set, I do everything in 1080 So just another case somebody mentions about the video. You could do it in 4K if you, that depends on how you set it up. But make, make sure when you do those sort of camera settings, you do that in your DJI. Okay. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. You get this little celebration of like bangers going off. Now, if I wanted to, I can, where it's got return to home, I can cancel that. But I'm happy with that. So the drone's coming back now. And also, that's been saved now onto your drone link app. So we could come out again here in the winter when it's a bit, it won't be snowing here, but it might be, <laughs> probably be a similar, not, not so hot. So it's just seeing how the drone lands on that landing pad. It's it's sort of on. Well, it's on the landing pad. That's, that's good for me. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the screen. No, no, sorry. Before I do that, I just want to, just in case you want to know how you get back to the main screen. Well, it's got a, a pass. We just click on that. That'll bring you back to the main screen. If we click on home, all your projects are in there, guys. So, 40% on the battery, which is good. So, I, if I wanted to, I could do another flight. Yeah, happy with that. So, it's just a quick one, guys. Now, it's been quite a while since I made a drone link video. Now, what I wanted to do, I wanted to do mapping and 3D mapping. Um, it's pretty effective, I must say. But I'm a hobbyist. I'm not going to make a business of this. I'm not starting out to make a business and um, what's a little bit annoying there's loads of videos out there saying oh it's free but it guys it's not free you can get a a, a free download version or free trial as i should say the free download version is not very really good it's so pixelated because they want you to pay for it now i did do a free trial one uh, I think you got like a couple of weeks and it was really good. I put that there. Now that was actually with the Mini 3 Pro um, and that was just doing really just all bits. No set app or nothing. Watch that video. It's pretty interesting, but unfortunately I can't do it again. <laughs> so I won't be doing mapping or 3D mapping, mainly because I'm not paying for it. Um, it's, it's just not worth my while. But there's plenty of videos out there just in case you guys were hanging on is Sean going to do a, a 3D model of a house or whatever? Ain't going to happen, guys. Not unless somebody pays for me on my coffee fund. <laughs> anyway, just thought I'd put it out there. Still a great app, guys, I must say. It still beats Litchi. Unfortunately, Mavin, I don't, I don't think they're bothering anymore. But Litchi, it's been over. It's not going to be two years now they've been trying to do this one. But Drone Link are on top of it. Happy days flying. Mm -hmm.